What's up guys? Today we are going to be doing a little bit of painting here and I just wanted to kind of document this process. It's fairly simple, give you guys something to do. Uh, it's pretty easy for anyone to do and it's fairly inexpensive. Uh, gives you a, you know, a, good, a nice look. Uh, this sheath right here you can see I did uh, in like a flat dark earth and a darker brown and it helps camouflage as well. So um, we're going to be painting today a K-Bar sheath that one of my buddies uh, sent over for me and I'm probably going to throw in like a GI mag. Uh, several things you're going to need if you want to do some type of uh, stencil design, kind of like this right here. You're going to need some type of uh, uh, stencil, and this is what I use. This is just a laundry bag that I cut apart. Uh, you can see it's flimsy. Uh, I got it at Target for like four bucks. And this right here is another one I cut it apart. You can see it's a little bit, a little bit uh, smaller. We're going to actually use that one on the key bar today. Some type of spray paint. Uh, I'm using Rust-Oleum here, just the camouflage stuff. Uh, isopropyl alcohol is what I'm using for cleaning. Uh, rags are going to be used for cleaning and I'm using painter's tape to tape off the stuff that I don't want to paint in this case, which is this cloth strap because I cannot remove it. It is riveted on. So let's uh, get this cleaned up and let's get started here. So first thing we're going to do here is just uh, get this surface area clean that we're working with. Um, there's really no disassembly on this one because like I said, I can't take this strap off and rivet it on. Uh, we're just going to use isopropyl alcohol make sure this entire surface is really clean. We're not trying to rush this procedure and we're trying to get a good uh, good base to start with so that everything sticks real well. You may need to take sandpaper and rough up your surface. Um, on this one it's rough and I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I probably won't worry about it on like a GI mag or anything like that either. So we got the GI mag clean, we got the base plate clean. Uh, I have this K-bar strap taped off so that we're not getting any on the cloth strap. It's going to be touching you if you were to be carrying it around the belt. And we are going to get started painting these. We have like a flat dark earth kind of and we have a dark, darker brown. Uh, we're going to use the flat dark earth as our base coat and then we're going to paint over it with the netting afterwards. Just do a test spray, make sure we've got the right color and we got the right consistency in that paint. Uh, we're just going to do real light coats. We're not going to stop over the top of it. Keep moving the uh, the spray the spray can. And uh, my first concern is just not putting this first coat on real real uh, real real thick. So I'll probably let that dry for. Uh, Five ten minutes till it flashes off, and then we'll put on another coat. The last coat here I have is flat, about flashed off, so I'm basically done putting my base coat on. Um, I just want to make sure I get a coat on everything because my coat, after I put the netting on, it usually don't go too thick, so you're really not covering anything. It's really just for looks. Uh, so I'm just going to lay this over the top, and I'm going to do my best to get this to form fit to everything. Because the closer it is, the better your detail is going to be. One thing to make note when you're doing this is you want to stay at the right angle uh, directly on top of it for the most part. If you're switching around, going like this and around, you're going to completely get rid of the, the uh, screen effect. So. so that's what that looks like. So I'm going to go up here now. And I'm going to do this part, being really careful not to go into that area. Like that. And that's good enough for me. I'm going to go a little darker on this one, just for kicks. Try and keep it quick. You can see that. All right, you can see here that we have basically the finished product. I'm gonna let these sit for probably about 24 hours before I do anything with them to make sure that they cure. Uh, you can see that the magazine in the middle is slightly darker, mainly due because it has a little bit, uh, a little bit more paint on it with the dark paint, and it's also had less time to dry. Um, all of these are used with the same colors. Uh, this one right here has been done for about three to four days. You can tell how much it's actually lightened up compared to the one in the middle and the one on the right. Um, even though I did spray that one, um, not quite as dark uh, with the dark paint over that netting. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll put some pictures at the end of the video here when they're finally done and dried. Um, be sure to like the video, subscribe. We got videos coming out every week, guns, gear, all that stuff. So uh, if you like it and you want to see more, click that subscribe button. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.